goals, but there's nothing stopping us now. We have so much room in offices, you can all have offices. We can connect with each other. Phenomenal, we should be a friendly with people now with each other. Uh, no, but this is, and I actually had never seen this place completed until I walked in, and just so amazing. I just want to thank again all people at IT and Maryland, everybody that put so much effort into it. I think we're all just blown away. Uh, I want to, I think uh, Jane wants to say a few words. She's the district supervisor for this district, so we're super psyched. All right, thank you. Often I walk in and I was like, who's she? Uh, but I get to cut ribbons. That's part of my job. <laughs> That's what you do when you go into politics. Actually, I, I went to Stanford, and so actually many of my friends went into this industry. And I walked down another pathway that was a little less financially productive for me. Uh, but I get to see a lot of my friends really prosper in this field. And it's just amazing kind of where we've come, just even in the last 10 or 12 years. I mean, how much our lives have changed because of many of you who are innovating um, here in this country and of course, especially here in the city of San Francisco. So I represent this awesome district which includes the South of Market, Tenderloin, and Bay Market, and Treasure Island, which many of you should go and visit. I learned how to bike out there. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, but we're really excited to welcome you. One of my first pieces of legislation when I came onto the Board of Supervisors was of course the Bay Market Tax Exclusion. And for those of you who may or may not know the history of this building, this building had been vacant for about 50 or 60 years, at least the office space level. And part of the challenge that the city has faced is how can we revitalize a neighborhood and corridor that was meant for commercial and office and attract people to this area. And so we worked on this legislation uh, with some companies that you may have heard of. And so now we're actually seeing the fruits of this legislation. It's actually exciting to see that it works. Um, I'd love to come back at any time to talk about the neighborhood. I know that some of you have been working um, with members of this community because we didn't want to just attract companies to the neighborhood. We wanted to bring companies that would also invest in and care for this neighborhood as well. Because as you know, there's a lot of work that we need to do. And also there were existing residents that have always lived here that have struggled or have thrived in this neighborhood. And we want you to get to know them as well. And I think Yammer, the mission that you have, is perfect um, for that mission and purpose. So uh, I just sort of want to repeat some of what David's already said. Please thank to Marilyn and the IT team, uh, our movers, builders, architects, everyone who made this space a uh, beautiful space to do today. I'd also like to thank uh, Supervisor Ken for coming today, uh, members of the mayor's office who are here, and members of the Citizens Advisory Committee uh, for the Temple uh, Market and Temple Neighborhoods, who we will be working with very closely. Um, we're very, very excited to be in this new space and uh, to, you know, really help improve the lives of the residents within the Tender Line Central Market neighborhood. So, with that, uh, David, you yep. would uh, cut the ribbon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>